Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our interviews. Today, we are going to know better two young researchers of our society. Both of them were honored with the Kent Riley Award in different years. So today we have here Yi Chao Teng, who is the winner of this year edition of the Kent Riley Award. Welcome, Yi Chao. Congratulations. And we also have here Ricardo Ramos, who was the first winner of this prize in 2015. So welcome, Ricardo. I would like to start asking both of you to briefly introduce yourself. Let's start from Yi Chao. Where are you from and what's your job at the moment? I am Yi Chao Tun from Taiwan. I am a PhD student in nuclear engineering and science at National Tsinghua University. Meanwhile, I am a researcher at New Borough Medical Group. I apply the principle and method of both physics and medicine to clinical practice. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Valeria and all the communication platform uh, for this interview. Uh, my name is Ricardo Ramos. Uh, I'm from Argentina, uh, but uh, now uh, I'm working uh, in Pavia, Italy, for the National Institute of Nuclear uh, Physics of Italy. I'm a postdoctoral uh, research. Uh, I'm a nuclear engineer. Uh, I was studied in Argentina, my degree, also my PhD. Uh, after that, I moved to France uh, uh, to do a, a postdoc, my first postdoc, uh, at the University of Lyon in France. And then I moved to Pavia uh, three years ago uh, to start with my postdoc here. Yi Chao, did you expect to win the Kent Riley Award? What about your reaction when you were announced? I never have guessed because many outstanding young researchers from different aspects attended the meeting. I was pleasantly surprised and feel when I heard the winner was me. And what about you, Ricardo? Do you remember the moment in which you were announced? Yes, of course, it was a surprise for me. Uh, yes, I felt uh, proud and very, very happy. And also, uh, I felt motivated because to continue with my work, because for me, awards are very important because are a source of motivation, especially for young researchers. Can you summarize the subject of your talk in 20 seconds? The subject of my presentation is to encapsulate the clinical practice experience of reactor phase and accelerator based BNCT to promote the use of common language for specifying and reporting the doses in BNCT. I I was doing uh, I was studying sorry the impact of the cross section in the symmetry calculations. In particular, I was studying a kind of cross section called thermal scattering cross section. And the idea was a uh, study uh, the change in the symmetry in the symmetry calculations when uh, the cross section are changed. How long did you work on this topic to reach this goal? Are you still working on the same project now? This not only took time, but also needed enough clinical cases. So I'm very grateful to Dr. Yi Wei Chen and Dr. Lin Wei Wang from Taipei Veterans General Hospital. I'm still working on clinical practice. It's practice, you know. It's necessary to modify and improve constantly. Uh, in my case, I, I was working uh, two years before the, the award, uh, and then I continue working with this topic uh, until uh, the end of my PhD. But now I'm working in another subject uh, here in Italy. I was working during these uh, three years in a project called Inspirit. Uh, thanks to this project, a new ion SARS was uh, installed uh, in the National Center from uh, of uh, oncological adron therapy here in in Pavia, uh, and these arts uh, uh, can produce new ions like ion uh, ions or oxygen ions, uh, and the metallic ones in the future like lithium or iron ions. And the idea is to study 
uh, impact of these uh, ions uh, in tissues. What is your plan for the future? If you could choose where and on which subject would you like to work? I'm open to whatever opportunity may arise in the future, especially within the field of medical physics. I think the best way of planning for the future is to make the most of the present. Okay, in my case, in the future, I will start next month with a new project called ARES, where I will be the, the principal investigator of this project. And here in Pavia, and the idea of this project is to study the biological damage uh, produced by radiation on astronauts. So the idea is to use the new ion SARS available here in, in Pavia at the now uh, to study the, the impact of these of these ions in in tissues. In the case of astronauts. What would you suggest to young researchers that are starting or about to start with BNCT? Have a strong mind. It always seems impossible until it's done. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, uh, it's very important to take advantage uh, of working in a very multidisciplinary uh, environment like uh, VNCT because you can work with people uh, from different areas and you can learn a lot. Uh, for me, it's very important not to be afraid to propose new idea and interact with people from all the countries and from all the subjects. Did you enjoy the last Young Researchers BNCT meeting? Was there a presentation or a poster that particularly impressed you? The last YBNCT meeting was also the first time to be virtual. I could feel conscientious and attentive from the organizer to make the conference more interactive. There were no frontiers in BNCT. I enjoyed the last meeting. Whether it's oral or poster, every report was wonderful and excellent especially educational lecture. The YBNCT meeting broadened my academic horizon. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, you, Valeria, and all the communication task force for the organization of this, uh, of this conference because it was perfect. Um, for me, all the new developments for young researchers are very important, but in particular, uh, the, develop, uh, the developments related to new tools like uh, the use of uh, artificial intelligence in, B in BNCT are very important. But all, all the, the topics and the talks were very interesting. 